you do to kind of maintain uh, your good health and longevity? So for me, um, I think people get always get really disappointed because I think I'm going to come up with this massive list of supplements that no one's ever heard of. Um, <laughs> but for me, everything that I do is based on the science. You know, it's totally like what it, where what is the science showing us that seems to work. But also, I'm a huge advocate of that everyone's an individual, and it's very much based on on personal biology as well. So, um, first of all, I think um, I am a, a big advocate of lifestyle. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that nobody should be taking huge amounts of supplements or investing huge amounts of money in anything crazy if they're not getting their lifestyle right. Like we see the power of the diet, the exercise um, to activate NAD. Um, you know, NAD is depleted hugely by bad lifestyle. Um, I didn't mention that, but, <laughs> you know, it's not going to help. So for me, you know, having a good, a good, um, good diet, good lifestyle. So I exercise regularly, do resistance training and high intensity interval, interval training. Um, I absolutely believe in the benefits of sauna. And um, so I try to use sauna as much as possible. Again, this is another way where it is activating inbuilt pathways and mechanisms in our bodies that are already there that are designed to protect us and um, you know our bodies are amazing and I think this is something to stress our bodies are amazing at repairing and looking after ourselves you only need to look at a child to know that we have it have what it takes inside of us to be resilient and in good health it, all of these things just get turned down as we get older but they don't mm. disappear they get turned down a lot of them you can switch back on so things like sauna i do i do um you know ice bath cryo mm. Um, so that's that's a lot of the, the lifestyle things. I'm a huge believer in tracking. You see, I've got my aura ring on. I'm yeah. constantly <laughs> tracking that. Um, that's my sleep. Sleep's so important. Um, mm. The other thing is I, uh, you know, really, I get my bloods checked a lot. Mm -hmm. So every six months I will do, you know, all my basic bloods, my hormones, things like that. Because again, I believe that it's very good to have a picture of our bodies inside um, when we're in good health. Because unfortunately for many people, when they don't feel so good and they go to the doctor and they get a blood sample done, the doctor will just say, well, you're within average. And you're like, but I feel like rubbish. <laughs> so, you know, really understanding what is normal for your body so that if something does start to go off, it's very easy mm. to go. That is exactly what it is. And um, I've also had my genetics done. So I know what supplements are, you know, suitable for me. So, you know, we were talking about methylation earlier. I know that I have um, a, a mutation in the enzyme that um, basically methylates folate. Um, so I, for many years, I was taking folic acid and my folate levels were terrible. Like when I got them measured in, in my blood and this was because the enzyme in my body that mm -hmm. takes folic acid and converts it into the active form folate just doesn't work as well. So again, for me, I know now I have to take folate. Um, so yeah, it's. I think it's very important to um, understand what your body needs rather than just taking aimlessly what somebody else has taken off, um, you know, off social media or something. Um, but my, you know, my top supplements that I, I really do believe in, are obviously I take our own. Um, I also take spermidine. I think the, the data there is is really good. Um, I use a brand called um, Primadine. That's the one that I, again, believe is is a good version of spermidine to use and i also use um um n acetylcysteine and glycine and mm -hmm. um, again because i think that the data on that is good um but they would be the main the main things that i routinely use at a high level uh diet you kind of meant diet is important how would you characterize your diet um, I, I would characterize it as trying to reduce sugar, things that are not have a lot of in, inflammatory things and um, not like vegan or anything like that. I eat meat, I eat fish, well balanced. I think a variety, eating a really good variety of um, lots of different foods and particularly plant based foods. Uh, mm -hmm. The studies demonstrating that if you can try to incorporate 30 different plant materials in your diet each week, then it does actually help to reduce biological age. So again, try to eat lots of different fruit, veg, nuts, seeds, 
um you know a good variety um i've done um for me i have done quite a few tests with a continuous glucose monitor to look at how i respond to sugar uh, my body doesn't deal well <laughs> with sugar it takes a long time to clear it so i have to be very careful about you know eating particular foods that are going to spike that we definitely don't want to keep spiking our glucose um, I know that I, again, personally, I clear fat out my body very, very efficiently. Um, so for me, I tend to, you know, be more protein, fat based products rather than the, the carby stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah, everything I do, I do it because there's some data behind it, because I'm a typical scientist and I like the right. data and I believe that, you know, we're all individual. Um, so try to stick with what the data is telling you for your body. Excellent. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. Um, and yeah, very data driven. Um, so um, could you very briefly talk about what is kind of the future of Nuchido? What what kind of products are you working on now? Yeah, so, you know, NAD, we're known as an NAD company, but we're yeah. not, um, <laughs> you know, we're, we're not just, we are specialists in the in cellular aging. We are looking at all the different hallmarks of aging and all of the latest science that is coming out and looking at ways that we can take that science, but get it into consumer products. A huge area of focus for us is senescence. Um, you know, not not only because that it just is a, such a major hallmark of aging, but also there's there's a lot of ties with senescence and NAD. Um, so that's mm -hmm. something that we're working on in the background, and you know, hopefully we'll be able to to bring out something that is is better than some of the options that are out there at the moment. Yes, interesting. Um, yeah, I, I did see a paper. If you're not getting rid of the senescence and you have but you you boost NAD that it has an oh yeah because yeah then the senescent cells can can produce more SASP if they have more NAD and so you need to kind of do both of them together it's it's a circle so yeah, yeah so like if you so when we were talking about CD38 earlier so what seems to happen is the SASP which is the um the all the inflammation that these senescent cells are secreting that is the thing that's actually driving CD38 interestingly mm. enough um, so, and then CD38 is then depleting NAD. And then as NAD goes low, that means there's less repair. And that means that you get more damage in cells, particularly DNA damage, and um, because NAD powers the major DNA repair enzymes, which means the cell gets so much damage, it becomes senescent. Um, so it's like a vicious circle. So senescence is pushing NAD down and then NAD going down is then driving further senescence. Um, you know, this, so, so it's it's a really interesting area. And again, no one thing is ever going to fix aging. NAD is never going to be the answer to everything. Mm. Aging is probably the most biologically complex thing that we know. And um, to have a real impact, um, it's going to be a, a sort of group effort of a lot of different things um, look at, that are targeting multiple different areas of the aging process. Um, so yeah, that's yeah. that's what I believe, and that's what we are doing as a company, looking into all those areas as well. Excellent, thank you. Okay, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Can you tell people where they can find uh, more information on uh, you know your your products and your company and what you the work you're doing? Yeah, absolutely. So um, for the product, it's best to go onto our website, which is nuchido.com, N-U-C-H-I-D-O.com. Um, and on there, you know, we as a company um, have a huge focus on education. We think it's really important that people understand how, you know, all about NAD, how, why it's working, the different options, things like that. So we have a really good blog on there for people that are interested in just really learning more about the space um, and, and a lot of resources. Um, for me, I, you know, speak a lot about NAD, but also about everything else to do with health and aging. Um, and I mostly do a lot of my things on Instagram. Um, mm. so my Instagram handle is just at Dr. Nicola Conlon. Um, so yeah, that's where you would, you would find me, um, and also the company at the Cheeto. That's where we, we tend to do a lot of our education and, um, information on there. Okay, excellent. So thank you so much. It was been great talking to you. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you.